Hold on, guys. I'm getting situated. Does that look okay? Let's see. This is my first time going live. I, I'm i really excited. Should we wait a couple of minutes? Let me see if I can pull this up on my actual Facebook so I can answer your guys' questions. Ha what is today? Today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <gasps> Am I live? Oh, there's a little bit of a delay. Okay. Cool, well I can answer your questions here or there, whatever. Anyways, it's Gabby from What's Gabby Cooking. I'm so excited to be doing Facebook Live today. I'm doing a big takeover on the Facebook food page, so I thought we should probably make something on video and share it with you guys. Today we're doing loaded guacamole because it's Labor Day this weekend and everyone's having parties and it's gonna be really fun. So we'll get started. We'll run through the ingredients first and then we'll start cooking. So. Loaded guac is essentially my all-time favorite guacamole recipe with then all these different toppings on top. And leave it to me to write an entire cookbook on avocados and come up with this recipe after I publish the book. Anyways, here we go. We need three avocados and we want the avocados to be really ripe. So when you push on it, it should just feel like this part of your hand. You want it to have a little bit of a give. We need some bacon. This is my favorite kind of bacon currently. It's from Trader Joe's. It's uncured apple smoked bacon and it's delicious. We need some chives, we need jalapenos, we need um, a red onion, a lemon and a lime, salt and pepper, and then some pumpkin seeds. And don't worry, we'll put the link to this recipe in the comments below, so you'll get the recipe. Okay, so let's start. We'll make the guacamole base first because that's the most important part. We're just gonna cut open our avocados. And you guys know how to do this? You just cut it up. Oh, it's perfect. Just take your knife and carefully twist out the seed. And we're gonna do that for all three of them. And carefully take this on. Once when I was promoting my cookbook, oh, hi. Um, I was doing this on like live TV up in Sacramento for this morning show appearance and I had not brought my knives with me so I bought new knives for the day and I sliced right through the avocado and cut my hand open on live TV mind you and I didn't know what to do it was like my first time on camera I just held the avocado like this and continued continued going anyways if you guys have questions while I'm going feel free to shout them out I think I'll be able to see them let's see yeah, well, maybe, we'll find out. Okay, so once, let me twist this open and get this pit out. Once these are all out, you're just gonna use your knife and score the avocado like this. We'll do all six halves and we'll try not to cut ourselves today because that would be super embarrassing. There's no commercial break to cut to here. And then we'll put all this in a bowl. Oh, and I forgot, and by the way, if my cat jumps up here, don't judge me. I had to take her to the vet this morning and she's very needy after she has to go in her cage. So I promise she's not normally on the counter, but don't judge me if she comes up here. Okay, so just grab a spoon and a fork and we are going, oh, is that a question? Oh, hi Amy, thank you. Um, just take your bowl and you're gonna scoop. Hi guys, oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is like, I don't even, I don't even know what this is like. It's like having your own little show. Okay, so scored avocado. We're just gonna take a spoon and put all of the avocado in there. So you just, you know, we can get rid of that now. All this goes in. And then after that, we'll make it delicious. So normally all the recipes in my cookbook, I either did lime juice or lemon juice. And only, oh, here comes my cat. This is Stella. Stella, you can't, you can't be up here right now. Look. <laughs> this is not for you. Can you get down? Thank you. This, I'm like super embarrassed, guys. Don't judge me. Promise you won't leave me like hateful messages like, oh my God, her cat's on the counter. I clean my counters really well. Anyways. Oh, see, this is what happens when she jumps here. I get nervous and then avocado goes flying. Okay, wait, let me get this all in and then I'll tell you my lemon and lime story. Is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I missing anything? Okay, perfect. All the avocados in here. 
So back to my lemon and lime story. When I was recipe testing my cookbook, all the books and all the recipes in the book called for either lemon juice or lime juice. And afterwards, I only had a half of a, books published, whatever, fast forward another year. And I only had a half a lemon and a half a lime. And acid is the most important part of guacamole because it cuts through all the fat from the avocado. So I juiced half the lemon and half the lime. And it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. Like it changes the name of guac, it changes the game of guacamole. So just squeeze in half a lime to start. And then we'll squeeze in half a lemon. And I do it, I do, I juice it over my hand so I can catch um like the the lemon seeds because nobody wants to eat that and then what else do we need to do we'll keep these aside in a little bit if we need to add more acid later we'll throw those in we need to cut up a little bit of red onion so just slice it in half you guys this is like putting my knife skills to the test we'll move all this stuff so you can see it I haven't like really cared about my, my knife skills since I was in culinary school. I just like chop things. Oh, is that, what? She's just super, she just wants to be on Facebook Live too. What's this question? When do you suggest, what do you suggest when you go to the store and all the avocados are hard and green and you need guacamole for an event at night? <gasps> oh, okay. Well, that's tough because normally I would say if you're prepping for an event, I would go to the store a couple days ahead of time. But if you're in like desperate need of an avocado ASAP, you can buy a rock hard one, put it in a brown paper bag with an apple and a banana, and then just the natural gas that those two fruits give off will ripen the avocado faster. It might take 24 hours though. So like if you're doing this tonight, I would just go to as many grocery stores as you have time for and try and find the right avocado. Cause when it's not ripe enough, then you don't have that creamy guacamole texture when you're putting your chips on it, and that's just kind of sad. Also, if you're like me, I stock avocados all the time. So I'll never, because I have avocado toast for breakfast, and I put guacamole in everything we make for dinner, so I'm never in an avocado shortage. Okay, so we just have a little red onion. <gasps> you guys, look at my, those were good knife skills today. Can you see them? I'm pretty impressed with myself. Okay, so put in the red onion. We have the lemon, the lime, the red onion. We gotta chop up a little bit of a jalapeno. These are like extra long jalapenos for some reason today. Um, and be so careful not to like rub your eyes after this, which is something I do all the time. And then I start crying because the spice from the jalapeno got in my eyes. It's really embarrassing. It's not also a very cute look. So we'll just chop up a little bit of raw jalapeno because later when we do all the loaded toppings, we're gonna add roasted jalapeno. So just give this a quick chop. Okay, no fingers were lost. Toss it in. We're going to season this with some pepper. This is just one of those grinders from Trader Joe's. I'm obsessed with them. And then some salt and then using a fork, we're just going to kind of mash it all up and then we'll add some chives at the very end of this and then go on to the loaded ingredients. Are these more questions? Please tell me you're adding cilantro. Cilantro. Okay. We're adding chives. Don't kill me. But here's the reason. A lot of people, not a lot of people, I love cilantro. I would eat just like it out of the ground in a garden. But some people don't like the taste of it because it tastes like soap, so I put chives in and that kind of solves everyone's problems. But but you, you could easily substitute the chives with cilantro if everyone you're feeding this to is into cilantro. What are the, do I look like such a loser when I'm reading the questions like this? You should do this more often. Thanks, Stephanie, maybe I will. Where's a printable version of the recipe? We, as soon as I'm done, I'll post it on this post so you guys can print it. It's on my blog though, which is whatscottybecooking.com. So if you can't wait till the end, you can go to the avocado section of my blog because yes, there is absolutely a whole section de devoted to avocados and then just find loaded guacamole and you could make it with me. And then you could ask me questions in real time. Okay, so this is half smooth, half chunky, just like that. That looks pretty perfect. 
Hi, Dawn from Spain. Oh, thanks for putting the link up, guys. You can. You guys are awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna chop up some chives, and then we'll probably put in about three tablespoons. I love fresh herbs though, so sometimes I get a little carried away and put in extra. It doesn't matter. But if you put like too much cilantro in, that could, I guess, be overpowering. But whatever, here we go. These are going on in. I'm like super impressed with my knife skills, you guys. I'm doing really well under pressure. Normally I do like live videos on Snapchat, but you can cut, like there's no, there's downtime where you can like rearrange and like fix your hair. There's none of that on Facebook. It's very, it's like way more nerve wracking. It's just one, oh yeah, Gabby, G-A-B-Y. Hi from Orlando, Stephanie, no garlic. I don't put garlic in my guacamole because that's just not what I do. But you could, it would be delicious in this. You could also add roasted guac, roasted garlic. That would be, ooh, I'm gonna do that. I think that'd be really good. You're doing so good, thanks. There's nobody here to hold the camera, so it's just me, and I feel like I'm just talking to myself like a complete lunatic, which actually isn't that far off from real life. Okay, give the chives a stir, and then the base of our guac is done. Let me rinse my hands off. Two seconds. Okay, so now we have to get to the fun stuff. So what we're going to do I should probably take you guys off of my tripod. Okay, we're going for we're going for a ride. Hold please. I wonder if I can turn this around while I'm filming. Let's see. Oh great. Okay, so I already cooked off some bacon in this is like a big giant all-clad Dutch oven. And normally most people cook bacon in like a skillet, right? But it always spits when you cook it all over the What's this called? Like a stove top? Look, evidence of past bacon cooking. And I just wanted to try and keep things clean for you guys, so I did it in this today. And I already cooked this off so it was crispy. So we'll just leave this here for a second. I'll show you the rest of the ingredients. Actually, we'll put it over here. Okay, so over here, we're gonna toast up some pumpkin seeds because that goes on the top. And then here, we're gonna turn this on and grab a jalapeno and we're going to roast this. And here's how you do it. You just put it directly over the flame and keep an eye on it. And we're just gonna let it roast. And as soon as it gets black on all sides, we'll take it off, peel the skin off, and I'll show you what to do with it. But I'm gonna try and do this and do other things at the same time. Oh, we'll, we'll answer some questions. Um, hi Don, thanks for finding me. Let's see, loaded guacamole is gods of God's <laughs> gift of the world. I think so too. Who inspires me as a sh Um, gosh, that's a great question. I love Jamie Oliver. I think his message just about cooking and getting kids in the kitchen is pretty incredible. Um, I also like want to be Ina Garden. She's like my role model. I, if I could be the Ina, she's like, you know, Ina Garden is like Hamptons. I would be the Ina Garden of California. Um, I'm literally obsessed with your blog and stuff. Oh, thanks, Kelsey. Me too. I have a good time. Okay. If you guys have other questions, shoot them my way. But in the meantime, wait. Okay. So we're toasting these. See how this is getting charred a little bit. We're just going to let it keep going. And then I already made one ahead of time. Should we just skip to that? I'll show you what this looks like. We'll let it keep going. But when it's done, this is what it's going to look like. And you just peel off the skin like this. Make your hands all gross, but whatever. Those can be washed. Aloha from the big island. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for watching. You guys, Amanda, one of my friends from Iron Baker is watching and I'm obsessed with her. She does the best Facebook lives if you haven't seen them. Okay, so this is one of the loaded toppings. This bacon is another one of the toppings. Let's get that out here and we're just gonna chop that up. What else goes on top? Oh, we're gonna have to cut up some, oh, there's my kombucha for later. Do you guys like kombucha? Put this back on the tripod in a second. This is complicated and I feel like I'm making you dizzy. 
Um, if you haven't had kombucha, hi Amanda, your face just keeps popping up. It makes me so happy. Um, if you haven't had kombucha, health aid is my favorite kind. You should try it. I drink one every day. I have no idea the health question. Your broadcast is interrupted. Let's see. Am I back? Okay. We're back up here. Okay. I don't remember what I was saying. What was I saying, guys? Well, wow, kombucha. I drink one every day. I have no idea about the health benefits, but it's delicious. And this is my favorite brand if you want to try it. It's health aid. And you can get it at Trader Joe's. They also have it at Whole Foods. Okay, back to the guacamole. This is very, it's very easy to get sidetracked, you guys. Okay, so take out some sun-dried tomatoes. Let's clear this up for a second. Let me get a towel. Or, or, can you see the help hanging from here? No. I'm just, I'm just using my tongs and turning it around so I don't burn the house down. What are they... Hi, meanwhile, I'm having one of your ice cream sandwiches on my break. Thanks, Donna. That's so fun. Wait, there are more questions. Let's see what they say. Do something. What do you mean, do something, William? I am doing something. I'm doing a lot of things. There's a lot of things to focus on right now. Okay, so we're going to transfer all this to a bowl. Let me grab a cute little bowl, and then we'll finish it off. Mm, I need a spatula. All the guac is going to go in here, and then we're going to put piles of all the toppings on it. This is like, this three avocados worth of guacamole will probably get me through the day. I literally could put down three to four avocados a day. When I was recipe testing my first cookbook, we ate so many avocados every day. My husband, I think, had eight avocados in one day, and his throat closed up a little bit because I think he overdosed just a tad on avocado. So maybe don't eat as many as I do because I don't know if that's actually healthy. Hi, I'm glad you're laughing, William. I think I'm funny too. How far in advance can you make this? Um, you could make it like a couple hours in advance. I wouldn't make it too far in advance because avocado gets brown if it's sitting out and oxidizes. So I would make it a couple hours in advance um, and then cover it with plastic wrap and then add all the bacon and everything on at the end right before you're about to serve it. Somebody call Thomas to come home and help out the camera. <laughs> He'll love that you said that. I asked him if he could call in sick today and stay home and help me and he was he looked at me like I was a lunatic. Okay, let's do this. So, we're just gonna cut up the bacon. I have three strips of that applewood smoked bacon from Trader Joe's. You could also crumble this up with your hands if you were being patient, but William wants me to do something. Just kidding, William. So I'm just trying to make some guac for everybody. Okay, chop, 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 and then put it in a little pile on there. And then we'll do the same thing. Ooh, now my hands are gonna be all bacony. Now I definitely can't pick up the phone. Chop up the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, we'll put those on a pile on the opposite side. This is what the jalapeno pepper looks like. I showed you, right? Yeah. So we're just going to chop this up and put that on. <gasps> you know what I just realized? We don't have any cotija cheese. Normally I would put cotija cheese on. Well, you could use cotija, you could use feta, you could shred up some cheddar. Don't judge me. I know that like guacamole purists will tell me that's disgusting, but if you have never had cheddar in your guacamole, don't knock it till you try it. It's really good. Okay, chopped up jalapenos are going on. Let's put a few more chives in there. We'll grab the pumpkin seeds off the stove, season it with some salt and pepper, and then we can eat it. Okay, chives. Hold please, I have to get the pepitas off the stove. We'll just put those right in there. That's probably good. I'll save those to eat for myself. Here's, we'll just sprinkle everything with some Maldon sea salt, a little bit more pepper, and then grab a fork. And now we can stir everything together. So you can get a little piece of bacon in every bite, along with some pumpkin seeds, the whole nine.
nine yards and cotija feta whatever it just gives it a little salty a salty bite am i missing questions oh man i am hold on let me go back and see if what's your what's your favorite mix in for guac bacon duh just kidding um i also love adding Let's just scoot this a little closer. What else do I love putting in guacamole? Ooh, charred corn. If you're grilling this weekend, you could put charred corn in. That would be delicious. I'm so glad you approve, William. I felt like you weren't gonna like me. Um, <laughs> yay, Morgan puts feta on guac too. Okay, great. So, this is it. This is like the grand finale. I'm serving this up with these chips from Trader Joe's. If you haven't, I have a thing for salt, if you haven't noticed. These are like the best salty chips on the planet and they're blue corn, which is my favorite. So you can just scoop one up and take a big bite. I'm just gonna be alone with this. So good. Mm! And the bacon is everything. If you're a vegetarian, you could just leave out the bacon or you could do it with that soy rizzo stuff. That would be really good. You could do it with regular chorizo if you're not a vegetarian. My cat's looking at me like I'm a lunatic because I'm talking to myself. Anyways, we'll post the recipe. Thanks for tuning in and maybe we'll do it again. If you guys want to see more of this, comment below and let me know. And if I didn't answer your questions, I will answer more of them post live. How do I turn this off? Oh, I just have a finish button. I'm going to make this this weekend. Where can I find the recipe? We're posting it. We're posting it. You're getting a Trader Joe's in Oklahoma. Oh my gosh, your life is about to change. It's so good. You guys, if you have favorite Trader Joe's things, comment here too because I'm obsessed with trying everything there. Okay, bye.